around for that one that first time around, but the Texan, Doug Poland, leading him through. Uh, could we have uh, Mark from Suzuki Tech Services to go to Doug Poland's pit, please? And as we speak of Doug Poland, he's now got the lead out there on the, the turn number eight. The Denton, Texas rider already starting to uh, put a little distance between himself and the rest of the field. Let's see if that's Doug Poland running in second spot. If it is, you better believe there's a lot of uh, animosity going out there on the racetrack right now. Here they come. It's 296. Doug Poland. And then it's uh, 183, Richard Moore running in second spot, Mike Minning in uh, third. And we don't even see Doug Tolan out there at all in this race. Doug Tolan running about 10th spot right now, so he must have got a terrible, terrible start. And it looks like he's going to spend the rest of the race trying to make up time. Okay, Poland going to try and make amends for uh, that formerly USA defeat as he goes uh, around turn number nine. However, he's not leaving Richard Moore uh, behind. Richard Moore uh, starting to pick it up a little bit. The Tustin Honda rider out there on that Suzuki, and they're both going for $1,000. Second place, hold down by Richard Moore, 183, as they come by the start finish line. And it's going to be those two to the checkered flag, it looks like. Don Kane is now going to get into the uh, third spot. Don Kane takes over third. James Domay running in third spot. So 151, James Domay putting a good account of himself out here as he runs in third spot. But right now, nobody's going to catch Poland, the Texas rider. The only guy that has a chance is Richard Moore. So uh, California, you better cheer for your guy in second place because Texas right now is dominating the Suzuki race. And remember, Poland has already picked up $2,000 here from this club doing this. And he's on his way to picking up another 1000 bucks. So Richard Moore is only about 10 years Poland coming out of turn number nine. It looks like Moore picks it up in the turns, but when they come down the straightaway, it's all horsepower, and it looks like uh, Poland's got the advantage on the straightaways, but Richard Moore, uh, adrenaline's got to be pumping. He knows he can keep up with this Texas rider in the turns. Don Kane now firmly in uh, third spot. Mike Minnick there in fifth spot. Looks like James DeMay in fourth. In sixth spot is bike number 51. 51 in sixth position. And then that is Dave Langford running there in sixth. And Doug Tolan's dropped way off the pace now. Doug Tolan back in 11. Tolan's probably going to have to wait for the uh, 750 uh, race to... Uh, Race against uh, Poland, it looks like. 
as uh, he's got too much of a disadvantage. turn number nine and swinging wide out of turn number nine and itching ever so slightly ahead of the rest of the field now it is doug poland the texas rider starting to uh open up the gap now over second place richard moore and don Kinney now who did so well in the uh races previous settling in the third position in fourth position still uh Dumay, then minig and then uh, bike number 51 running there in sixth spot then comes bike number 210 in sixth spot 51 that is uh, langford and in seventh spot, that is Chuck Graves, running in seventh. clock running now on this lap with uh, Doug uh, Poland. Boy, an incredible time considering this is supposed to be 750 stock production. Is that right? Uh, we use the word stock very loosely in this class as uh, he just turned a 132, 132.4, a 132.4. Now remember, the Formula USA bikes are doing 130, so that's only four seconds a lap off. Not bad. So 134.2 is about 95.7 miles an hour. Superbikes race is up next. Kirker Superbike race is up next. We got about 12 riders going in that one, and remember, we got a new format now. Jesus, now uh, Doug Poland just now turned a 133, so they're really getting these stock quote unquote times down now as they head around turn number two. 133 flat. And that is about 96.7 miles an hour. 96.7 miles an hour on a stock production bike. Okay, our starter, John Rowley, giving him the white flag, and it's going to be a pretty easy time and a pretty easy $1,000. You can't get it much easier than this. 
Doug Pullen with two and a half miles to go, and he will pocket $1,000. He is, as far as we can tell, the only rider in the country right now who is making a living at club racing, and that's pretty incredible. He's made over about $30,000 this year, and he banks it all. And of course, he's got expenses to go along with that, along with travel and motorcycles. In fact, a big expense today is going to be putting that... Uh, that motorcycle back together that he destroyed up there in turn number three in the Formula USA event, but that thousand dollars is going to come in handy, and he's got a chance to pick up another thousand uh, in another race coming up here very shortly. So uh, coming to you up there in turn number three, number four, bike number two ninety six, the rider out of Denton, Texas. That is Doug Poland with a P. He is going to win it, and uh, following very close behind, an excellent ride by Richard Moore on that uh, other Suzuki. Running at third is still bike number 291, that is Don Kane, and he's doing a great job holding on down third spot. Then comes fourth spot, bike number 51, and running at fifth spot right now is bike number 151. Bike number 151 is now running at fifth. Okay, the checkered flag for the Texas Rider, and he just pocketed $1,000. There he is. Richard Moore with a fine second place. Uh, let's get Doug Poland down here to the uh, base of the announcer's tower for uh, his winter uh, circle. Uh, interview if we could have the uh, the crew alert the crew that uh, we need him right down here below us the announcers tower for the winter circle ceremonies I thought I had Richard Moore finishing second, but I didn't see him come by in that last lap. Did he come by? Okay, he did finish second Okay, last call let's get a last call for the Cali uh, for the California Superbike Series race the Kirker sponsored Superbike Series and of course uh, We've been mentioning in the past uh, that uh, Jim Vericki has not had much competition, but I think things are going to change today. Uh, this race has been uh, more or less a drone all season long, but boy, uh, activity's picked up now, and look at this. We've got some competition, and it looks like Vericki's got his work cut out for him today.